The weather is going to be changing a lot over the next seven days across the United States, where another large storm will be impacting a large chunk of the country as we go into the first week of June, leading to another very active weather pattern for parts of the United States, while other parts of the country will start to wind down a little bit. Now, in today's forecast, we're going to break down everything that you need to know about the severe weather potential over the next seven days and why I do think there will be a potential for a severe weather outbreak at some point during next week. With all that said, we are going to hop right into what the weather looks like across the United States from earlier this morning to kind of paint you a picture of what the weather pattern is right now and what is to come as we go into next week. So right now, there's been plenty of showers and thunderstorms across a large chunk of the Great Plains, anywhere even from the Midwest back into the Southern Plains. But the Southern Plains and even the High Plains have really been the main focus and the main part of the attention for severe weather for the last several days now. We've had many days of severe weather, though there haven't been any major major outbreaks. We've definitely had some events where we've seen upwards of DVD-sized hail. We literally had a tornado emergency yesterday near Midland, Texas, where there was a large tornado. So things have been very crazy, and there's been plenty of thunderstorms here. But there is reason to believe that this weather pattern that we currently have will kind of flip the script a little bit. Instead of storms being super focused down here in the southern plains, we are likely going to see a large-scale trough ejection next week that'll focus more attention on areas like the Midwest in the Ohio Valley. And that's what we're going to be talking about a lot in today's forecast is overall the general dynamics of what we're going to be seeing over the next seven days and how this change is exactly going to happen. Before we dive into the details of the big pattern change that's coming, I do want to touch on the severe weather threat for both today and tomorrow as there are already storms ongoing in areas like Texas and severe weather will be possible this morning and as well as into the afternoon hours. Notice for today, it's pretty much the same area that we've been talking about for the last three or four days now. Another slight risk back over in the high plains and another slight risk back over in parts of the lower Mississippi Valley and as well as back into Texas where the threat for damaging winds, large hail, and a few tornadoes will all be possible today. There's also a marginal threat that does include Oklahoma. I think overall the greatest concern though will be back down in South Texas and back into the lower Mississippi Valley where the potential for large hail, damaging winds will be the main concern, but there will be a small area back over in Arkansas, Louisiana, and even a small sliver there of Mississippi where we could end up getting a few tornadoes later today and that's where the greatest threat, at least today, for tornadoes will be. There is also a large 2% tornado risk. So again, there could actually be a couple of tornadoes in this area, anywhere from South Texas all the way back into Western Mississippi, and maybe even near Memphis, Tennessee, we might see an isolated brief tornado. And we'll talk more about that here in just a second. Once we go into Saturday, severe weather, pretty much the same exact area, actually a little bit larger in nature. Another large marginal threat back down in areas like Texas and as well as back into the Gulf Coast where some more sporadic wind and hail events will be possible. I'm not really expecting a tornado risk on Saturday, but there might be a low tornado risk over in the High Plains on Saturday. Very rural areas here, anywhere from western Nebraska back into the uh, hill country of Texas, where there will be a potential for damaging winds, large to very large hail, and maybe even an isolated tornado. Two spots where I'd be watching for that tornado potential, one of which in northeast Colorado and the other one back over in west Texas, just west of Midland, where we had that tornado emergency yesterday. Let's go hour by hour with today's severe weather setup, and we already have a line of storms that's ongoing back over north of Houston with mostly a wind threat. That'll continue to move into Houston as we go throughout the morning this morning with damaging winds being the main concern, some large hail, and maybe a brief tornado. Don't be surprised, by the way, if there's a storm there, maybe producing winds upwards of 70 to 75 miles per hour. Once we go late in this morning, we'll have another cluster of storms most likely ongoing southwest of uh, North Texas back over near San Angelo where more winds and hail will be possible. And then once we go into the afternoon hours, those storms will continue to collapse down to the south. Things really start to dry out in North Texas and I think it will stay like that, by the way, for most of today. And then back over in the Mississippi Valley is where we're going to have to turn our attention to a increasing tornado risk as we go into the mid to late afternoon hours. And this is what it'll look like. We're going to have some showers and thunderstorms just kind of clustered together over there. And any storms that can be discreet or even in some cases semi-discreet will have the chance of a tornado or two. I think overall that tornado threat will be mostly during the mid to late afternoon and into the early evening hours. Uh, but overall, I'm not super concerned today about a tornado risk. Just stay weather aware. We might go live, but I'm thinking it's going to be pretty unlikely today. But make sure you click the bell icon down below so you're notified if and when we do go live and subscribe to the channel. Once we go into Saturday morning, those storms will be primarily along the Gulf Coast, where more severe weather will be a possible, possible on Saturday. Once we go into the afternoon and evening, right now North Texas and Oklahoma 
Oklahoma. Don't look too bad, at least going into Saturday afternoon and evening, but we might get some storms there after sunset or maybe even near sunset that could produce some hail and wind. But I think it's a low risk overall. And then High Plains Madness is going to be in effect, which this will be happening a lot of the time as we go throughout the rest of June as well. So don't be surprised with these sorts of events there back over in West Texas and even into New Mexico, where hail, wind, and even some tornadoes will be possible. But again, very rural areas for the most part as we go into Saturday evening. Now beyond today, the severe weather threat does get a bit interesting because we're not going to be in the same exact weather pattern that we've been in for the last several days. And you'll notice the jet stream right now. The jet stream is lifted way back up to the north where we have this large ridge that's in place. It's an omega block pattern. And what that essentially means is that we have a large dry and as well as warm area of air mass basically that's dominating much of the United States. And this will continue for the next few days. But once we go into the late weekend and into early next week, watch this low pressure system that comes out of Washington and really out of the Pacific Ocean. This is going to be a pretty strong low pressure system. And as we go into Tuesday into Wednesday, this will definitely start to ramp up and pose the risk for some severe weather back over in areas like the Midwest and as well as back into the Ohio Valley. So I do think things will start to get interesting as we go into Tuesday into Wednesday with a negatively tilted trough, which by the way, troughs like this usually tend to produce more of a severe weather threat. And in some cases, they can produce severe weather outbreaks. So that is what our greatest concern is right now as we go into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. And that could even continue into Thursday. Notice by Friday and Saturday, though, the European model in particular just shows this large low pressure system, maybe even a splitting low pressure system that will kind of just sit there in the northeast. And if this does end up happening, we actually could see an extended period of showers and thunderstorms in the northeast and then drier weather for a large chunk of the Great Plains, which would be great news after all the showers and thunderstorms that we've had recently. Here's the low level jet, which gives you an idea also of the spin and really the nature of these low pressure systems near the ground level. And by the time we go into Tuesday evening, we're going to have that low level jet really cranking out of the southwest across the Midwest. This should favor at least a modest tornado threat. Wednesday does look a little bit more concerning and then Thursday into Friday kind of becomes more broadened out by that point. But it looks like right now, Tuesday, Wednesday, in my opinion, are the two days to watch for for a more organized threat of severe weather. Though we could see severe weather on Sunday and Monday, um, I still think Tuesday might be one of the worst days when it comes to the severe weather threat. But again, things could change between now and then. So we'll keep you posted with the latest. Another thing I want to show you is the moisture content. And with the current weather pattern that we have, the moisture just does not go that far up to the north. And these are the dew points. And really, we need dew points in the 60s and 70s for there to be more organized severe weather and that would create a lot of buoyancy when we have dew points in the 60s and 70s that is all right now down in the southern plains but once we go into saturday into sunday this does become a bit more spread out in nature so we could end up seeing some showers and thunderstorms even back in areas like the midwest and even the northern plains but even if we do most of those storms will not be that severe because just the environment is not favorable for severe weather even though we have a lot of moisture it's just not enough but once we go into monday into tuesday we should start to see some more organization and notice this as we go into Tuesday evening we could end up getting some sort of organized severe weather threat back over in the Midwest and then once we go into Wednesday that threat could become even more organized back over in the Ohio Valley so those are the two days that I'm watching for right now over the long term for some sort of threat of severe weather by the weekend things become really just kind of simmering down at least in those areas and it looks like we'll have at least some sort of you know severe weather event maybe back down in the southern plains again like what we've been having for the last you know several days now. Another pretty important ingredient for severe weather is instability, and this is basically what fuels storms and severe storms as well. Once we go into Monday into Tuesday, that instability really surges to the north, where warmer weather will start to kind of trigger a lot more instability here. Notice as we go into Tuesday, that instability access becomes more favorable across areas in the Midwest, so that is one area that I'll be watching for some severe weather on uh, Tuesday. And then once we go into Wednesday, we'll likely also get another organized setup for severe weather in the Ohio Valley and even parts of the Midwest for Wednesday. And then by Thursday into Friday, we might get some severe weather on the East Coast on maybe Thursday and or Friday, but things don't look super organized. And eventually by next weekend, things at least for now look to be quieting out, which is very good news. Now, as we go into the future, radar force showers and storms for the next few days. Overall, again, storm activity will remain uh, pretty much up there back over in the Southern Plains for both today and tomorrow. Notice on Saturday, though, into Sunday morning, we'll have some showers and thunderstorms in the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. Those overall, 
overall not looking too concerning just you know ordinary showers and thunderstorms for the most part by the time we go into sunday evening we could get a large area of thunderstorm activity across a large chunk of the great plains which could lead to some damaging winds hail and maybe even a few tornadoes by the time we go into monday those storms move into the midwest with maybe another low-end risk for severe weather by tuesday a more organized low pressure system will come out of the uh you know the, over the rocky mountains and also out of the pacific ocean this will lead to a more organized risk for severe weather on tuesday and by the time we go into wednesday another organized threat for severe weather will exist across the ohio valley for areas like tennessee kentucky ohio indiana and probably michigan on wednesday and then by thursday that low pressure system kind of just spins up there over the midwest things become more uncertain after this but it does look like it'll stay active in the northeast we'll probably at least a couple of rounds of showers and thunderstorms and then once we go into next weekend again things become really uncertain but uh, it does look a little bit less active at least for now as we go into the following weekend make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video